high deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it. Hit the left field deep. Way back. Ruin turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? A's 8, Texas 5. It's time for baseball on MLB Network from our nation's capital. Welcome inside Nationals Park. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Joe Ross, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he's been throwing the ball really well his last three outings. In the last three outings, he's allowing just less than a base runner an inning. When you do that, you're going to win games. And that's the key to his success in the last three games so far. Digging in, Jose Reyes. He'll match up now with Joe Ross to lead off the inning. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One -one. And he takes two ball two, and it's two and one. HR, these Nationals, as they take the field here today, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. Yeah, Matt, they're feeling it right now. You know, they're starting to play good ball. They're really playing good. And they're closing in on that division. And this time of the summer, it's all about baseball. You come to the park, the grass is green, you smell the hot dogs, and you're excited to play, even in the afternoon during batting practice. And that's what I see with this club right now. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, how do they go about ending the losing streak they're mired in? Well, Matt, this is an interesting offensive club. You know, they're in the top one-third in on-base percentage. That's one of the things they've really tried to focus on. The key, though, for them, I believe, is driving in runs. If you're getting runners on, they're in the top third, like I said. But driving in runs, you got to score runs to win games. And, and once they start to drive in runs and figure out how to get those guys home, then they're going to win even more games. Gloved by Murphy. Throw on to first, two gone. Here now is his dribble Cabrera, and he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, he clearly read the scouting report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Here's Yuana Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. From the belt kicks and deals hit on the ground out to short Turner fields it cleanly and as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning Mets leave one now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game Robert Gesellman is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets what do we need to know here Danny Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Now at the plate, Trey Turner. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club.
Here's the one and one pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Well, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Ligares is under it, and that's the first down of the inning. And a look now at the hometown Nationals starting lineup. Harold, what's the key to continuing the winning streak? Well, Matt, the first thing I look around in afternoon games is see what kind of shadows might you have to deal with. That's the challenge of the afternoon game, and it looks like they may creep into this ballpark. So we'll, we'll wait and see how, as this game progresses how the shadows are going to affect it. In now is Adam Eaton. First at bat for him in this one, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Now here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ligares is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting third. Here's Daniel Murphy Batting now. Baseman. No one aboard for Daniel. him, and two gone Murphy. here in the first. Two out, nobody on. Fastball called strike one and two frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch and the fastball easy to lay off that time two and two into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch frozen on the fastball never had a chance and the inning is over three up three down for Washington. We are still scoreless. At the plate, David Wright. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. And a swing and a miss that time by Wright as he couldn't come up with it. One away. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Nationals. And behind the plate is Derek Norris. This guy frames the ball pretty good. And the one thing he does, he gets up close to the plate. Now, that's why he gets hit on a lot of back swings. But because of his ability to be up close, allows him to frame and give that umpire a really good look. He can throw, too. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And he is proving to be something of a non threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Here's the one and one pitch. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit back up the middle. Turner loves it. In time to first, and there are two away. Having seven. Now at the plate, Travis Darno. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Hit high and deep out to left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. The relay and he's going to make it there barely as he's into second base with a double. Batting eight. Center fielder number 12. One. Lagares. Here's Juan Lagares. Lifetime against Joe Ross. One for four. Go down now. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Batting ninth. Striding into the Robert box, Gesellman. Robert Gesellman. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. 
A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Worth ranging back at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2-0 ball game. It's a tie game. The pitcher comes to the plate and he gets a two-RBI hit to break up the tie and give himself and his team the lead. Let's see if he can hold it when he gets on the mound. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. And that misses two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Worth on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. The relay, the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Mets are out on top, two to nothing. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Ligaris. Still ranging back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Number 23 for him thus far. And the Nationals are on the board trailing 2-1 to one now. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Into the box now, Anthony Rendon. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Anthony Rendon connects on a solo shot. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. As the Nationals have battled back to tie this one at two apiece. Hey, there are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat. This guy right now is swinging the bat so well. I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Here's Adam Lind. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Ready with the 1 1 now to Lind. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. 1 and 2, here it comes. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Here's the two-two home to Lind. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age, with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Here's Jason Worth, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He'll try again one two. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Batting eight. 
catcher Derek Norris is in. He brings a batting average just south of 320 into this one. Here's the one and one delivery in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Ready to deliver the one and two. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We played two full, and we are tied 2-2. Two -two. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Nationals Park in D.C. Set to go now in the third. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo 0 for 1 here in the early going set to deal on a ball and two strikes line drive to center field and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit so a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third you throw a ball down the middle you better start no, ducking right when you release Second it he back. took it right back and at him dribble. hit it where it's Top thrown. Round. Digging in to try it again as Drupal Cabrera. He drew a base on balls his first time up. 2 2 is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Striding in once again, Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. A little bit outside. Two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Two and two now. First and second here with nobody out. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Waiting in the on-deck circle is David Wright. Let's go, DC. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a three run blast is straight away left number 31 for him on the season and just like that it's now a 5 2 ball game. Boy well, talked about how an inning can get away from you right three run homer already in this inning they've yet to give up and out and this could turn out to be one of those really ugly innings. Standing in now, David Wright. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Eaton is under it. One down. Now batting. First base Digging base. in for his second at bat, TJ Rivera. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Hey, any time a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. In now, Travis Darno. He grounds it sharply to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. Bottom of the third coming up. Now 5-2 New York. Digging in, Joe Ross, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Grounded back up the middle. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. 
So with one gone for him here in the inning, let's check out our current standings, and you can see they enter play with a two-game lead in the division race. Ready for another chance? Trey Turner, he flew out in his last at-bat. One out, nobody on. Chopped weakly to the left. Wright's got to get rid of it. Throw gets him, two down. The center fielder, number two. Adam In now is Adam Eaton. Eaton. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. He's done a nice job of getting those two quick outs before the two hitters come to the plate right now because he did threw run. it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Nationals gone in order. They trail 5-2. Stepping up now, Juan Ligares. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. So stepping in, Robert Gesellman. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. Fourth inning here, already a 5-2 to two score. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. One there, back to Murphy, and they get them both. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt a guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes. And that misses ball four, and now the Mets have themselves a two-out base runner. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially right to a speed demon nine. like him. Good chance Brandon he's running here, Nimmo. and good luck trying to stop him. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Runners off for second. Popped up. Turner will put this one away, and the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he pops him up back behind second base. And Reyes will take this one for the first out. Right fielder number 34. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Two runs on two hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And a fastball misses there, ball four. So coming to the plate, Anthony Rendon. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that is in there at the letters to run it full three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Here's Adam no, Lind comes into this Thanks, at bat 0 for 1 Adam in the ball game. Lind. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. First and second now, one man out. And another foul ball. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out. And we're only in the second game of this series.
Into the box now. Jason Worth tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Hey, two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Matt, I like the last two pitches. A change up and then a fastball, and he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. Row on to first is going to get him, and the Nationals blow an opportunity here, and that ends the inning. Nats leave a pair, and the deficit remains 5-2. to two. Vance Worley is going to take over now here in inning number Nationals. five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Vance. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. A couple of walks for him thus far. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Now another 2-2. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Harper going back on it to the track. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And the fifth inning will start with a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes in a game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up. And that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall. And now he's got to worry about another base hit potentially bringing home a run. Now a pickoff play at second and the runner back in standing. Standing in now. Joanna Cespedes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Ball three. three and one. Three one count to this guy. You don't want to challenge him right here. Don't give him anything to hit. No, no, no. Keep it on the corners. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Shut him down right here. Shut him down. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. He'll try it again three and two. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. From the stretch. And this is ball four as it's off the catcher's glove. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Come on, let's get the ground ball. And this is popped up. Back behind second, Turner ranging into the outfield. One away. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's now 6 to 2. Here's the catcher, now, Travis Darno. Head to head history with Travis Vance Worley. Darneau. One for five. Shake it off. Let's get two. One and one. Here it comes. Eight. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Let's do that. Ready on one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two.
ready with the two and two. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. The center fielder number 12. Here's Juan Lagares. And we'll Ligares. see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting a fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Ready once again, Robert Gesellman. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And, oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Last half of the fifth coming up, it's the Mets six and the Nationals two. Catcher Derek Norris is in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 and 2 pitch. Hit hard down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. That was an impressive single, but more impressive was the play of the left fielder. He cut the ball the off, got it back 15. in, and they keep the double play in order, giving that pitcher a chance to get out of this inning. Into the box, Vance Worley, and he pops up the bunt attempt. Rivera is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The batter number seven, shortstop. The speedy Trey Turner Rivera. digs in now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Runners on first with one down. Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a reach to his backhand side at second but this finds a way by. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Well, that single moves the runner to third base. Now they're first and third. They haven't done much this game. This is a big opportunity for them to capitalize. Stepping in now, Adam Eaton. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell. In to score, the runner from third. The relay throw, and they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. And this is a nice decision here in the outfield. The run's going to score easily, but he sees he might have a shot at that guy taking third, so he gets off a really good throw to gun him down. In now, Daniel Murphy, and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And Wright will make the catch to retire the side. So one run on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Mets lead it six to three. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's one for two in the ball game.
line drive to center field. But this will hang up a bit too long as it's taken in chest high for the first out. Number nine. Ready for another shot now. Brandon Nimmo. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Set to deal on two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Liner towards second, and that is through into right field for a single. Back-to-back -back line drives. Now, the first guy was oh, out, Bobby. but, man, they're swinging the bat pretty good. One. These two guys saw him pretty good. Let's see what happens Albrero. now. Standing in now as Drupal Cabrera. Oh, one two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A step on the bag for one. On to Lind. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. Mets out in front, six to three. Josh Edgen enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 66, Josh Edgen. Riding in once again, Bryce Harper. It was a walk in his last trip. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. On the ground to the left side. Wright has it. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. The third baseman. In now is Anthony Rendon. It was a walk in his last trip. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number 2. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. 1 and 2, you're probably expecting some sort of off speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. And this is fouled straight back. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Three up, three down for Washington. They're still doubled up. It's 6 3. Back here at Nationals Park, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Juana Cespedes. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Nope. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. The third baseman. Here's the third baseman David Wright. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Eaton's able to put this one away, and that's out number two. Now batting, 
First baseman. Digging in to try it again. TJ Rivera is working on a one for three thus far. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They still lead it six to three. Rafael Montero. Gets the now call from the, the pen to take Rams. over on the mound and Number start 15, the home seven. Rafael Montero. Ready once again, Jason Worth, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. The 1 1 on its way to Worth. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. Set to deliver on two and one. A swing and a miss at a ball down. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Now batting. Catcher. Derek. The catcher Derek Norris is in. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit sharply on the ground. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys. And try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Marley. Ryan Zimmerman will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. That's three and one now. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. Runners on first with one down. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And Zimmerman has a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. He just sports that ball off the seven. wall and now the question will be should he have continued to on or not. He thought about pushing it I'm sure but decided to play it safe. It would have been close but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Ready for another chance. Trey Turner he singled his last time up. He's set. Here's the three and two. Ripped on the ground to first. Reyes. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Nationals leave one. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Blake Trinan has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 45, Blake Trinan. At the plate, Travis Darno. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Harper has a read on it. One out. The center fielder, number 12. Juan Lagari. Now in the box, Juan Lagares. And it's a strange line developing for him in this one. He's been walked several times. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Oh, sorry, Sinker misses there and now he's in trouble. Three and one. 
Here comes the 3 1 pitch. Now ball line foul up and over the Nationals dugout. One out, nobody on. Again, he sends it out of play. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to left his first home run of the season as it is now seven to three. Yeah and that home run is an absolute backbreaker. You still have some baseball left to play here but with the four run lead it could be a non save situation so they might get the Your rest of their clothes in the rest of the day four runs feels awfully Number good 30. Michael Conforto will get the Conforto. call here as he'll hit for the pitcher foul back. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. A pause and the 0 2. Hard ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Oh, he's looking for that double play ball. He got now the got sinker, it. got right the field. ball hit on the ground, Brandon. but it happened to find a hole. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. Runners are at first and second with one away. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Swinging a soft liner, but this is pulled in by the shortstop. The batter number 13, second baseman, has dribble Cabrera. Stepping in and ready for another shot as dribble Cabrera. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The next 3 2. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets 7 and the Nationals 3. Hansel Robles is on to pitch now out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of Number the eighth. 47, Hansel Robles. Now to the plate, Adam Eaton. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Sliced hard down the left field line. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. As we look again at that elbow here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double.
Digging in once again, Daniel Murphy. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Let's go, Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. I don't know about his decision not to swing there. Hitters count. You get a fastball middle in. That's the one you drive out of the ballpark. A runner at second. Nobody out. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. The runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a seven to four contest. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking, but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Digging in, Bryce Harper he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. gets up for the 3 2. This is pulled into right. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. Murphy is on his way home. And the run is in to score from second. Well, you can't fold a fielder for being aggressive. He sold out to try to catch this thing, but he comes up empty and the ball just squirts by him. High risk, high reward move that just didn't pay off. AJ Ramos is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the box now. Anthony Rendon. One and two now. No one out with a runner at second. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Ligares is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Hey, one of the things you want to do as an offense, right, is stay fundamental and keep pushing. A great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Stepping up now, Adam Lind. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a liner, but this is a foul ball. Three runs already home here. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. He's set. Here's the three and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Hey, it's really important to be a second baseman and have some athletic ability. And how about this right here? He goes up high to snag this line drive that was definitely headed to the outfield for a base hit.
Into the box, Jason Wood hit down the line at first. Rivera picks it up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mets seven and the Nats six. And here comes Dusty out toward home plate as it looks like we're going to see a double switch here. Joe Nathan will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Michael Taylor is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Stepping in, Joanna Cespedes. His career numbers against this pitcher, an impressive four for seven. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Grounded foul. One and two, here it comes. And a fastball just a bit high. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Cespedes is retired, and there's one away. Number five, David Wright. Coming to the plate now, David Wright. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air out to right. Harper has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Up next for the Mets, first baseman, T.J. Rivera. At the plate, T.J. Rivera. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Ready with the one one pitch. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. Two out, nobody on. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next three two. And this one misses high for ball four and they have themselves a two out base runner. I know one thing he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Striding in Travis Darno. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fouled straight back. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1 and 2. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. That misses, and we're even at two and two. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Yeah, it was a great battle there, and he was one strike away from putting him away. Juan As a pitcher, Lagarde. you hate to put a guy on for free after all that work. Here's Juan Lagares. 
He went deep last time up. You can do it. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 2 2 one more time. Went up and out of the zone that time, but he gets a piece of it and he'll see another pitch. The 2 2 one more time. Hit down the third baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. So it remains a one run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and two men left on base. Nothing further in the ninth for the Mets. One last shot coming up for the Nats. They'll need one to tie. It's a 7 6 ball game. And now here comes Mets skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Jerry Spamilia, the man called on to man. close this one and earn a save in the ninth. In the seventh spot, number 27, Jerry Spamilia. Now catching and batting in the ninth spot, number 45. Digging in and looking for more, Derek Norris. He's two for three thus far. Ready on 0 and 2. Back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. That's a big leadoff hit late in the game right there. Now you're down one, you get the leadoff guy on. Now he can do a lot of things. Will he steal? Will they bunt him over? Will he score on a gapper? Maybe score on a home run? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how they get him home. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Settling in now, Michael Taylor, lifetime against Familia, 0 for 7. Nobody out, runner on first. Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. A sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And that misses two and one. Here's the two one. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Reyes ranges to his left. On to first, and now the Nationals are down to their final out here. 
Outstanding range on display that time. And here's the data from Showtrack. I didn't think he was going to get to that one, but he did. And then to complete the play, he made a fantastic throw right on the money. That batter's got to feel like he got robbed on that ball. In now, Adam Eaton. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Daniel Murphy would be next. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Lifetime against Familia. A three for five line to show for those meetings. One and one, here it is. Boy, good fight on the slider, and it just missed inside. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Drew is digging for home. The runner scores from second. Well, Matt, he drives in the tie and run at the bottom of the night. Nothing like that. You can try to match it in practice. You can't do it in the game because of this. Listen to this crowd. They're going crazy. Stepping in now, Bryce Harper. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! A three-run homer here for Bryce Harper. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charging one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. looking for him in this contest and the man you see there was a major contributor for that he's the top player of the game yeah he delivered with runners in scoring position a couple of times in this one finished with five RBIs and that was obviously a huge factor in them claiming the victory here This 
one concludes at a 10 to 7 score. Joe Nathan wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that'll just about do it for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long, everybody. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals. Ten runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left five. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over the first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. Now the 2-2, a swing and a pop-up.